Hello and welcome to another vlog. I'm Brittany. I haven't done a vlog in quite a while. Several months I almost think. But this is definitely going to be like true vlog format. I'm happy to have you here. We're going on a little bit of an adventure today and I will fill you in a little bit later. So I made it to the airport, got checked in. My flight's actually boarding early. I don't know if I've ever seen that. I'm flying a breeze this time, which is like a first time. There's first time for everything. I was hoping it was going to be in like the new Terminal C out of MCO, but it wasn't, which is fine. Uh, so I'll let you guys know how my flight is. I've never flown a breeze. I'm kind of excited to see how it is. It's a very small plane. It's only four across, so that's kind of cool. Other than that, I bet you want to know where I'm going. And the answer is Cleveland. I got Bruce Springsteen tickets months ago. And I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to go because I've had like a sinus infection. But I think it's cleared up. Fingers crossed that it's going to be okay for me to take this flight. So I grabbed a wrap at the airport. It's okay. Chipotle chicken. Uh, just needs more like veggies and stuff on it. Other than that, it would be awesome and it looks like we're getting to the end of this line so i better go jump on my plane so i arrived in akron about i don't know about an hour ago or so checked into the hotel which is like by the cleveland airport because i have a super early flight back out tomorrow uh, i think it leaves at like 5 30. so i thought i'd give you a quick room tour before we head to the Bruce Springsteen concert. Lobby is pretty nice, uh, pretty modern. Room's a little dated, but not too bad. Uh, standard like airport hotel, I would say. It was a little high for tonight, but nothing like downtown Cleveland would have been. I think all said done taxes and everything was around 180. Downtown Cleveland tonight was like 220 250 plus plus you would have had to pay for parking there so considering i have to fly out so early tomorrow this seemed just just fine considering that all i'm going to do is sleep in. on our way to the concert we stopped at fathead's brewery really recommend their beer and their food super great huge interior lots of seating i got a grilled cheese with brisket 10 out of 10. My friend got a fish sandwich. It was okay, maybe a seven out of 10, too much bread. Let's head to the venue. Just like that, I'm back in the hotel and ready to call it a night. I got about four hours sleep before I have to get up and catch my flight back to Orlando tomorrow. Concert was really good. I uh, played for two hours, 40 minutes or so. Crowd was amazing, really amazing crowd. I didn't mind the seats that I got, at least it was like center stage. And I'm not like the biggest Bruce fan compared to like especially some people in the audience so I'm glad I got the seats that I got I you know I'm glad I went but I wouldn't have spent more money to go if there is a concert that you want to see you should always check out like a lot of the cities that you could potentially fly there for for cheaper because like sometimes you can get cheaper concert tickets in a deep in a different city and then just fly there really cheap on a budget airline so just something to think about i'm a little delirious and i can't hear myself very well because it's really loud in there so i'm going to get some shut eye
I got home about 8 o'clock this morning uh, after getting like four hours of sleep last night. So tired today, been a little bit of a zombie. And all in all, like, good trip. Was really only gone from Orlando for, like, 15 hours or so. I think, like, one day, like, little bitty trips like that are, like, so fun. It's, it's nice to kind of get away for, like, a special event and stuff. So, highly recommend if you can. And if you get to see Bruce in any future, like, concert, it was pretty cool. I might have mentioned earlier that he doesn't talk much. He pretty well plays for about two and a half hours straight. Turns out I don't know as much of his, like, catalog of songs as I thought I did. I was probably an hour in before I actually recognized any of the songs. But all in all, I had a really great time. I'm glad I got to bring you guys along with me. I'll be back shortly with another video. Until then, bye!